Hey guys, so in today's video, I want to take you along with me in my Etsy first release journey. I've been wanting to do this for so freaking long, so I want to show you guys um, the whole process of like setting up the account, what I go through, and how my release is gonna go. Um, so keep watching if you want to see how my past like week or so have been. Okay, so I have been ordering fat quarters like this, um, packages like this, because... I feel like I understand now why Etsy shops have only like a couple of um, items of each sort because it kind of gets boring to use the same material over and over again. So um, if you just buy it like a little bit, you can have all of these different fabrics. So that's what I've been doing. I'm just gonna kind of unpackage and show you them all. I'm not really gonna go into too much detail because there are a lot that I have to share with you guys. So this one is like a greenish yellow set. Here we have like lemons, a cute floral, a checker, another like ditzy floral print, a larger floral, this checkered floral, and a solid green. Here is me deciding what the name of my shop should be. Funny enough, I had not thought about this until I opened the page, but I finally decided on Primrose Doll Studios. All right, so I have finally created the shop. Pretty cool. I, you have to make one listing when you create your shop. Um, so this is what I've been doing. My first listing is gonna be this dress. I decided to actually name my styles because most of my styles are gonna be the same thing. So I thought that would just be a little bit cooler. So this style of dress is gonna be called Vivian um, based off of Dolly Delights. Um, so this is just how the whole listing things go if you guys have never started an Etsy before. I mean, I just kind of learned this process, but you have the title, you give the dimensions, um, my description, and then pricing. I'm not set on this pricing. I think it's going to stay like this because I think that's kind of fair, um, but that's the pricing for now, $15. And then my shipping is just going to be them calculating it for me, but these dresses and my packaging weigh almost nothing. so. Um, I put two ounces for my weight, which is going to be the weight for pretty much all of my pieces. So shipping across the state, I mean across the country for me is only 318. I'm shipping from the west coast and this is to the east coast in Chicago. If you're in the west coast in like LA or something, shipping's only 278, which is pretty cool. I'm in the middle of listing the second one right now and just saving it as drafts and making them active whenever i decide my release date's gonna be um and this tank top style is gonna be called the camden style just fun facts so yeah i'm actually enjoying my time here oops i should not press that i'll press it on this one um i this is what i have right here <laughs> this whole right i just updated my profile picture with like a recent photo and then some you know info but yeah so I do want to show you guys kind of like the behind the scenes of how I'm working so this is my entire workspace I usually have the laptop open playing some show this is my pretty small-ish cutting mat but it works for what I want I have the singer stylus that's my sewing machine I have a presser that's right behind it usually hot and then these are all of the fabrics that I'm working with things that I need so I have a lot of fabric just in a pile it's in a Joann's bag if you can see that I have threads in there and in here these are all threads these have some like bobbins in them but that's that tub we have patterns and my cutters in here this box just has other sewing like notions and stuff and then in this Joann's bag is where I keep most of my clothes that I finished um, along with some other fabrics. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> okay, that needs to be repackaged, but then there's also a doll body right behind that because I need the doll form for when I'm sewing and such. Um, so I need to fix this bag, please hold. 
But yeah, this is my working station. It's pretty small. This is actually the station in my kitchen. I filmed videos here before. That's where I do a lot of my customizing and everything like that. Um, but yeah, this is what the table looks like. All right, so today I am, these are all of my finished works. Um, I'm not gonna be selling all of them somewhere, like just practice, but these are all of my finished things. As you can see, there's definitely like a green, peachy, yellow theme that's gonna go on in this release. So I have all the things and I brought um, up some of my dolls. These are gonna be my models for today. They look so messy in here because I didn't wanna use too many models, didn't wanna change too many because I'm lazy but um these are all my doll of colors I know I'm supposed to be preparing for doll of color month on Instagram I don't think I'm gonna be posting each day this year I'm just super busy like I'm moving in three weeks and I'm trying to do all of this um but all of my models for this photo shoot um and pretty much for all my releases I hope are going to be dolls of color just I don't know why I had to throw that in there but yeah, so I haven't decided yet where I want to photograph them because I'm not done with all of the pieces that I want to sell. So I need to make sure it's like a background that's consistent, you know, which is going to be a little bit of a challenge. So yeah, why don't I change all of these and I'll take you guys to the photo shoots. All right, so this is just the setup for all of the pictures. They're probably going to be taken like this, at least these few items. So yeah, I've been taking the front, the back, and then I'm going to take pictures of like the clothes individually. All right, so these are all of the pictures that I took. Um, oh, did I take a video? I did take a video. Um, these are all of the pictures. They're not all, you know, perfectly saturated or exposed, exposed, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, so I am going to be editing these just so that they're a little bit more perfect, but these are all of the photos that I took, so this is how I took them. I did some bird's eye views and then I did some with my girlies modeling them, um, and yeah. Okay, my next task is to find what I will be shipping the orders out in. So I searched up small poly mailers because when I ship things out, I usually use poly mailers. Um, they, I find that they're the cheapest way to get, you know, good, nice, clean packaging. Um, and these are all just small ones. I do really like these pattern ones right here, but I think it's way more important that the shipping costs are lower just so that the actual price of my listings can be lower um, because I really, I think people care more about paying than what their package gets mailed in. I mean, cute packaging is always a plus, but um, I'd rather you guys pay a little bit less. You know, it's more accessible for everybody. So I think I am going to go with one of these more planar poly mailers, poly mailers oh my god I'm sorry and just do some really small ones so that they are not that expensive and then I will also ship them in just like a plastic sleeve so that it'll be nicer the stuff will stay flat and everything like that and I think that is nice enough packaging um, for my shop so every item is gonna come with a sticker plus like a sticker per order so like even if you just order one item you're gonna get two stickers because I have so many stickers and people like getting stickers so I'm gonna throw it in. Um, I have all of these like random ones that I got from sticker packs that I just am I'm not in love with. So these are the random ones and then these are all of my brandy stickers when I used to shop at Brandy Melville. I don't anymore because I don't love just like their whole thing but their stickers are still cute so I'm and they're like aesthetically pleasing so I'm considering giving up these because they match more with like the clothes that I'm releasing but these are more fun or whatever but yeah I just have just the pile that I get to choose from for each order all right and 15 seconds till three I've selected them all publish publish huzzah I've published 18 listings and turn and activate this last one. Pretty cool. So now I have 18. Oh my god, this thing's kind of bugging. Okay, <laughs> I have 19 active listings. Pretty cool. Three o'clock. Now I just wait and cross my fingers and be super duper anxious. Yes, okay. So right after I made the listings live, I 
went on my Instagram and I'm trying to post like a cute aesthetic story, right? I like, you know, searched up the little decals and everything and literally almost everything sold out. I am beyond like thankful for you guys. It was a little bit buggy and I had to um, refresh a couple of times, but yeah, these three are still up. Nobody likes lemon print. I was like, that's like my favorite set. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm gonna go package these up now so you guys can get all of these things as soon as possible. Thank you so, 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 so much. Okay guys, excuse the horrible appearance, but it's currently a couple months in. I've been doing my whole Instagram posting thing, but you guys basically sold out my entire release, which I think is Crazy. There's one active listing, I believe, and it's the seconds quality top. I totally understand why that's not there. I mean, it's just gonna, it's just gonna stay there. I don't care. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop kind of just free on my own here and um, refund some shipping stuff. But uh, thank you. So the last step is to put these orders in the pink poly mailers. Really excited. I really like the packaging that I've come up with. Everything looks really neat. And I have all of the orders. All of the packaging slips are underneath. So I can keep track. So yeah, that is that. That is it for my very first release. I hope this video was pretty kind of maybe interesting for you all. This is just has been consuming a bunch of my time lately. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for your support. I honestly, it felt so amazing and it's motivating me to sew so much more. So there are definitely going to be more to come. Probably not that many more videos like this, um, but more releases to come. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!